Welcome back to our Fundamentals of Dreamweaver CS5 series. We've learned all the basics of creating things inside of Dreamweaver, and we're now sort of pulling things together into um, a complete website. And if I go ahead and open up Fireworks here, you can see the design that we're working on. And in the last video, we went ahead and created the basic table structure for this design. Now, looking back at my mock-up, I can see that my first row, my third row, and my fifth row are going to be filled in with this brown color. And the brown color also matches the color to this, the background of this graphic here. So we need to go ahead and insert that brown color into these rows in our design. Now, you can simply click in a cell, go to the properties for that cell, and choose a background color from here. But again, doing it this way is going to be extremely hard to match the background color I used in the mock-up and that's behind the title. So I'm going to go ahead and close out that properties window. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go to insert image. And you're going to see I'm inside of my images folder now. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a bit until I find the title of the store. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and enter some alternative text in. Somewhere coffee shop. And I'm going to click OK. And there's the graphic for my title. Now, that helps us match the colors that are going to go into these three rows. Because what you can do is click in a row and go to Properties. When you click the background swatch here, your cursor is going to get changed into an eyedropper shape. And whatever color you point at is going to go in this box. So if I point at that yellow right there, it picks that up. If I point at the gray there, it picks that up. There's some black in here. Whatever color I'm pointing at gets picked up. So I want to match this color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that area. and You're going to see it filled in that row with that color. Now I'll go ahead and click in my middle row and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to Properties, click the Background option, and select the background color of my graphic there. I'll click in my footer, my fifth row, do the exact same thing. So that eyedropper tool makes it really easy to get the correct colors in the correct places. Now, going back to our mock-up, the next thing that we really need to do is insert this banner picture here. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and click in row number two. I'm then going to go to Insert Image, and there is the banner. I'll click OK. Since this is purely decorative, I'm going to go ahead and select an, alt, an empty alternative text tag. I'll click OK. And now you can see that image has come up to the top. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to lay out this area right here, the left-hand navigation area. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And then I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to select Image. And each one of the buttons in that area is actually a graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here a little bit. Actually, I'm going to make my window a little larger so I can see a little bit more. And there's the first button, Home Off. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I definitely need to add alt text because this is going to be a link to another page. I can go ahead and type Home Page and click OK, and there is that graphic. Now, I want the next graphic to go right underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to the right of that graphic. I'm going to hold the Shift key down and press Enter. What that does is it puts a line break in, but not a return. So you don't have to worry about any extra spacing. And then I'm going to go to Insert, Image, and I'm going to select the next item which was about. So there's about, and I'll click OK. And then we're going to go to do about page, and click OK. And you'll see that image was inserted there. I'll click to the right of that image and hit return, or I'm sorry, shift return. 
And then again, go down to Insert Image. And the next one was, what was the next one? It was Hours. And let's go ahead and type Hours. Or actually, we'll go ahead and type Store Hours. And then OK. And that goes right in there. Now, I've been clicking over here and doing Shift Enter. If you just hit Enter, it will move your cursor down. When you go to Insert Image, again, to insert another item, like I'm going to go ahead and do Location. And we'll type in Location Page there. You're going to see it left a gap between the two items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that Enter, and it moves it on up. And I'll go ahead and click after that and hit it, Shift Enter. And then I can go ahead and do Insert image and we'll do our final item which is menu oops then okay and we'll do menu page so now I've got a menu there now also in my design I've got this coffee cup right here so I went ahead and hit enter after menu and that moved me down just a little bit more and I actually want that for the coffee cup I'm going to go to insert image there's the coffee cup I'll click OK and again that's decorative so I don't really need any alternative text the way I would on a link or an, inf uh, an image that conveys information I'll go ahead and click OK and there is my coffee cup now, when I clicked over here, you're going to notice that one of my buttons jumped up here. What you need to do if that happens is click on the button and then use the left arrow. You see how that put my cursor right in between those two? I can now do Shift Enter and that'll put a break in. So now that column goes back over. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to match the background color of this cell to the background color of these buttons and image. So I'm going to go ahead and click in there and go to Properties. And just like I was able to match that dark brown color there, I can click BG, point at that accent background color, and click. And you'll see how that color fills in all of the available space in the navigation area. And if you want at this point, you can point at the dividing line between the content area and the menu and sort of press and hold and drag over and you'll take over as much space as you can, leaving the most for your content. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and add content to this area and then also add some to our footer.